Now, continuous investments in infrastructure projects is bolstering Malaysia's position as a regional trade and investment hub, enhancing its global competitiveness. Deputy Economy Minister Dato Hanifa Hajar Taib said the government remains committed to developing key infrastructure, including highways, ports and airports, with the goal of achieving a gross domestic product growth target of 5 to 6 percent under the 12 Malaysia plan. Hanifa highlighted that robust transport infrastructure enables the smooth movement of goods and people, contributing to public welfare and accelerating economic activities, including tourism, travel and import and export. Walau bagaimanapun, sila ambil perhatian bahawa agihan adalah terhad, tertakluk kepada bajet dan kepayaan kewangan kerajaan, faktor lain seperti kemampanan, kesegeraan, tahap kritikal, keperluan keselamatan dan kesejahteraan rakyat juga diambil kira dalam membangunkan sesuatu projek infrastruktur termasuklah peningkatan tahap perkhidmatan yang diberikan. Hanifa added that the infrastructure plans benefits underserved areas particularly rural regions in Sabah and Sarawak through enhanced basic infrastructure, increased mobility and improved digital connectivity, optimizing land use for the rural economy.